Coach Perkins, um, first of all, we in Alabama are obsessed with Alabama football. You were up there for several years. What are your thoughts on the departure of Bill Curry and the uh, emergence of Gene Stallings as the new head coach? Well, just based on uh, the information that I've got, which is limited, you know, I think it's probably uh, uh, probably work out best for all our parties co uh, concerned. I think Gene Stallings is an excellent choice. Uh, I think there are a number of people that could have come in and done, done a fine job, but uh, they chose Gene Stallings, and I think he's an excellent choice. Uh, I think he's had the experience of going through a lot of things that the head coach needs to go through. Uh, he's an Alabama or Alabama-connected man, and uh, he was my first coach as a defensive safety when I went to the university in 62, and I think he's a, a really fine man and a fine coach. He knows what he's doing, and he knows how to teach people, and uh, I think he'll do a fantastic job. A lot was said about the the pressure that Bill Curry was under from, from rich and powerful alumni and what have you. Can you give us any insight on that pressure? Did you feel that any intense pressure when you were up there? No, I, I'm the kind of a person that, uh, that, that applies the self-inflicted type pressure, you know. But uh, as far as me uh, saying that there's pressure, there's a pressure with any high-profile job. You know, it's just a matter of uh, being able to handle it and uh, still do the job. You know, I think when a person starts to feeling pressure uh, from alumni or uh, so-called rich alumni, as you, as you referred to, uh, or just alumni or, or administration or president or whatnot, uh, if you start feeling the pressure, in my opinion, uh, that starts to uh, starts a reaction of influence in some of your decision making. And when it does that, you're not going to be very effective. And uh, so, uh, you know, that's what I, that's kind of what I look for. If I ever start to feel any pressure, like in, in my game now, where I am with Tampa Bay, if I were to ever feel pressure from fans or from my owner, now the only one I have to please is my owner. And, uh, uh, but if I was to start feeling pressure there and let allow that type pressure uh, help me make decisions, I hope I've got enough guts to get out of it. So when you were coaching outbound, anybody ever lob a brick through the window of your home or anything like that? Uh, several things happened, not through my home, but several things happened, yes, you know, but not to the extent, or I didn't think they were to the extent to report it to the media or, or allow it to get into the media. I think a lot of things happen at every university around the country, players or coaches or uh, so forth, but if you was to... If you was to put every little thing that happened on every campus in the in the media, you know, it would be you'd have to hire uh, four or five media people, you know, as far as uh, PR people. But uh, uh, you know, I think a lot of the things that occurred over the last three years were absolutely blown out of proportion. That's just that's just my opinion. Uh, keep in mind. Uh, but you're gonna have things, uh, occurrences, uh, and uh, that that are gonna happen. That uh, that are normal normal type things. And the reason I say they're normal type things, especially the week or two weeks prior to the Auburn game, you know, uh, I think uh, I think it's normal, you know, and I and I, I sloughed it off. Anything, rumors or whatnot, you know, and there are always rumors. And I think it's part of the game that our fans play throughout the state and uh, all the people because, like you said earlier, uh, football is big, big time uh, in, the, in the state of Alabama, not just for Alabama, but for Auburn as well. And uh, this is one of the very few, few states in the, in the union where, you know, the, the state is pretty much split down the middle. Uh, you know, you can get up in the morning, you're going to support Auburn. You get up in the morning, you're going to support Alabama. And uh, quite frankly, I think, it's, uh, I think it's a great way to be. And I think it's great for the state. But uh, uh, that game brings out, uh, brings out the best in all of, all of us uh, that are associated with it or have been associated with it and the fans as well throughout the state. And I think it's great for the state.